Welcome back to the Summer Signing Series for the Reading Royals. We're here at Santander Arena up at the top of the Super Sweet. Mark Thompson, team broadcaster here, along with head coach and director of hockey operations, Larry Corville, announcing the 15th player signed to an ECHL contract by the Royals this season. And coach, it's a familiar name to Royals fans. It's David Marshall. Yeah, we're definitely excited to have him. Hopefully we'll get more than two games uh, out of him, I know he got called up pretty uh, pretty early in the season, and, and fortunate for him, he got an opportunity with Utica, and he made the best of it, and uh, wasn't able uh, to play any more games with us, and again in the playoffs also. Boy, you talk about a jack of all trades. David Marshall can do just a little bit of everything. Let's start with the skill component. David Marshall, he can score goals. He knows how to find the right areas of the ice to score goals. Yeah, his biggest asset is he can play in all situations. He's got a great shot, great wrist shot, uh, great wrist shot, uh, snap shot. That gets away quickly and it's very hard. So, um, you know, I know our fans didn't get to see him a lot last year, but uh, he's coming back and, and hopefully he'll be a huge impact for our team. Like I said, he plays in all situations, kills penalties, plays our power play, and also is a big physical part, a uh, big physical element in our, in our game. He, he likes to forecheck, likes to hit, likes to get involved. I know a couple of years ago when he played for us, uh, he was fighting quite a bit and I tried to put the hold the reins a little bit back. <laughs> we wanted him more on the ice and and he wanted to make a name for himself and uh, get an opportunity in the American League. And I think he had a bunch of majors early on this season. And, and uh, But he played a, in a, every situation for us, and we're glad to have him back. Yeah, you've mentioned it already. He only played two games for the Royals last year. They were successful games for him. He had a goal and assist, two points, two games. Gets called up to Utica, remains there for 66 games. I think he had 42 penalty minutes when he was in Utica. That included four fighting majors. He had nine for the Royals in 2012-2013, the championship season, which actually tied Dustin Stevenson for the highest number of fights on the team. David Marshall's not afraid to get involved in the mix. No, he's definitely not. He's a competitor. He works hard and uh, you know likes to get involved and he likes to pad those uh, stats <laughs> uh, on, you know, on the penalty box. Uh, you know, he wants to you know get a lot of points, pad up his stats so the American can kind of notice him and. Uh, you know, it's it's going to an opportunity to, to have some success at the American League, get some opportunity to play, and uh, I'm sure he'll want to do the same thing when he comes back this year. You know, he's a Minnesota boy out of Buffalo, Minnesota, and he skates excellently. The one element that stood out to me when I saw David Mar Marshall first off is when he wants to be fast, he can be fast. He's very direct. He reminded me a lot of Chaz Johnson, that direct. And by direct, I mean he knows how to pinpoint somebody and nail them at full tilt. Yeah, he's one of those guys at times, I, you know, watching video on him and, and, and showing him some video is he's always on the go. He's always moving his feet. And sometimes I was trying to get him to slow down a little bit and kind of read and react to the play and then pick up speed uh, to pain because sometimes he's ahead of the play a little bit. And he's not, I wouldn't say cheating, but he's just so, you know, he's ahead of the game. And, and sometimes if you can slow that down and generate some speed as he receives a puck and get underneath pucks, uh, he could be more effective, but he, you know, he's got one gear and he likes to go and, and move his feet. And, and a lot of times he, he can take advantage of that because he'll beat somebody one-on-one -on -one or he'll get a big hit uh, and it'll look good on, you know, on video <laughs> and stuff. But uh, he definitely is a, an impact guy for us. And uh, again, we're happy to have him back. You talk about a guy who gets the feet going. It kind of makes me wonder what happens if you put a Kevin Walrod on the left side and a David Marshall on the right. I'm not sure who you put in the middle right there to try to stay up with those two guys. Well, Dave Mar David Marshall has played some different roles for us. He's played the right side. Uh, he's played the middle of the ice. Uh, right now, we're not sh exactly sure whether we'll, we're having him on the right or, or in the middle of the ice, but uh, we'll have to make those decisions uh, when it comes to camp and see where he's best suited for us. But, you know, it doesn't really matter if he does if he plays the wing and we lose the center, he can play that role. Uh, we You know, he can play the right side. So, you know, he's a, a well-versatile player that we can put on any side. You know, he can also play the left side if we want him to. So. Uh, he's one of those guys that you can implement on any line or any uh, uh, any role, and he'll be successful. So we're happy to have him. You talk risk reward, obviously, with a player like David Marshall, 66 games in the American Hockey League last year, 200 American League regular season games under his belt. He's one of those guys who is really, you know, he's, he's going to be a guy that's going to be looked at by American League teams, which is why, more than likely, he's here in Reading. He wants yeah. to be seen by American League teams, but you love him while you got him. Yeah, for sure. Like we want the best guys, the best players, and we're looking at, you know, bubble guys. We're trying to get the bubble guys that are are going to make us a better team in the end, and and keep those guys as long as possible. But we are going to give them the opportunity if it comes to get called up, and 
and David, you know, wants to come back because he's gotten those opportunities in the American League while he's been here. You know, two years ago, he spent, I think, the last two, three months in Charlotte last year. He spent basically the whole year in Utica. And, you know, he told me if he was going to come back and play in the East Coast League, he wanted to be in Reading. And, and we were happy to have him back. And, and we're hoping, again, of course, to have him a little more in, uh, in the lineup for us and at least get his five games so he's eligible to play in the playoffs for us. Was David Marshall important in the championship season? I think it says it all. You note that he was in Charlotte, stayed there all through the – did what – wasn't released in time to be added to your playoff roster in the 2013 championship run, and yet his name is on the Kelly Cup for that team. I think you recognize it. I think the organization recognized David Marshall was a very important part of the Royals championship season. Yeah, I, I definitely was. I thought he was. He played a number of games for us. Uh, he was an impact guy and, and wanted to be here. He wanted to be involved in our, in our playoff run. It came down to him or to Evan Barlow were the last two guys that were eligible. Uh, San Antonio, of course, didn't make the playoffs, and, and Charlotte did. And Charlotte wanted to keep David for the first round of playoffs. And uh, you know, we ended up taking Barlow because you know he was going to play in the playoffs for Charlotte. And uh, unfortunately for David, they lost in the first round and uh, could have been eligible to play, but we made a decision to take Evan Barlow right away because he was available. And you know, he was down here in our playoff run, uh, cheering on the guys and being involved. And uh, you know, was part of our, our playoff parade and uh, playoff. Uh, I should say party uh, after we <laughs> won it all. So he was a big part of the team, and uh, you know, even though he wasn't part of our playoff success, we felt like he was a big part of our team. What championship party? Who would have believed that? All right, 15th player signed to an ECHL contract for the Reading Royals for the 14-15 season is the forward David Marshall, 5'11", 191, 29-year-old veteran player in our league, rejoins the Royals for his third stint. Want to thank the fans. For stopping by for our summer signing series. Coach, as always, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Have a great day.